Hallo Berlin. Ich liebe diese Stadt, aber jetzt würde ich Englisch sprechen. <laughs> My name is Leszek Karlik and I'm a member of the Razem Party in Poland. Razem means together. We are a leftist grassroots political party that was founded in 2015 and is now a part of the parliamentary left in Poland. I became an activist because I had been worried sick about the climate crisis. Since the turn of the century, more and more which is each passing year, that emissions grew and grew exponentially. Even though we knew that on the time scale of individual human lives, global heating is pretty much irreversible. But I did not join the Polish Greens because of their opposition to nuclear power. Green parties were founded as anti-nuclear, not as pro-climate, and I fear they are incapable of changing their priorities. I voted for them in the local elections, but I could never vote for them at the national level, where policies such as nuclear power are decided on. At the founding congress of Razem, I took the stage and I spoke that what convinced me to join Razem was their evidence-based approach to policy, which meant that Razem would never oppose nuclear power, because the evidence is in and has been in for some time. Nuclear power is safe. It is the safest form of power there is. Listen to the science, not only on climate. Yes, it is expensive at first. But what is the price of the lives of our children and of life as we know it? We have been accumulating ecological debt for more than a century. And now it's coming due. Saving the biosphere from extinction will not be done on the cheap and will not be done in a manner that brings added value to shareholders. And yes, nuclear power alone is not a solution to climate change. Neither are renewables. There is no single solution. Exponential growth on a finite planet is physically impossible, even if it's green growth. We will not save our biosphere without some kind of post-growth policies. But closing down operational power plants to replace them with brand new, different power plants is not degrowth. Even with post-growth policies, we will still need nuclear power. We need all the solutions at the same time. And we will still have enormous suffering because the climate breakdown is already here. People are dying in floods and in fires in the global south and in the global north. Flash floods and devastating fires will become the new normal in Europe, just as on the rest of the planet. And the commissioning nuclear power in Europe is climate colonialism. One billion tons of carbon dioxide that will be emitted in Germany because of the atom ousting will kill far more people in the poor countries than they will in Germany. But make no mistake, they will also kill Germans and Chinese and Poles and Nigerians and Americans and South Africans and French and Kenyans. The climate breakdown is global. We cannot escape it. The carbon that we emit now will remain in the atmosphere for hundreds of years killing people and extinguishing whole species. The commissioning nuclear before coal and gas, as Talleyrand said, c'est pire qu'un crime, c'est une faute. We in Razem are in favor of using both renewables and nuclear power and any other available measures to save our biosphere from the flames and from the floods. And we ask you, Germany, our neighbors, to reconsider your decision. And yes, I do understand that opposition to nuclear power runs deep in the core of German politics. I don't expect Germany to change that, at least not rapidly. 
If you want to decommission your nuclear power plants, go ahead. But do not interfere with other countries and do it after coal and after gas. First fossil, then nuclear, not the other way around. That is what that is all that I'm hoping for. Wenn sich die Fakten ändern, ändere ich meine Meinung. Und was tun Sie? Danke. Thank you, Lezek.